going down the aisle, came back, and Molly's just sitting there, just a smile on her face, just a gleam in her eye. <coughs> and the stewardess said, you know, what are you thinking about? And Molly said, I may not be jumping around on the outside, but I'm jumping around on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, gals, pals, and sows, would you please welcome to the stage once again, Mr. Brent Hardaway. Yeah. When I lived in California, I didn't really have much of a problem with household pests. You know, the only bug that really came into my house was this tiny species of ant. And you know, I didn't really have a whole lot of qualms about killing this bug. Yeah, but I think, looking back on it now, I think the reason was is that I didn't really feel that it valued this life very much. I mean, I would, you know, come over to, to this little line of ants, and there was no sign of fear that I could see. And you know, if I just kind of stomped on a bunch of their friends, you know, they just kind of, you know, keep going about their business, you know? And uh, I just kind of felt that, hey, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of down with being stepped on, you know, it's all kind of really the same to them. You know, I, I think the, probably the only thing they prefer is that, you know, if you step on them, then you just finish the job, because if you, if you just step on them halfway, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they just, they, you know, fun portion, you know, the limbs would be going like this. <laughs> so, I think, you know, just as long as you finish the job, I think, you know, it's, it's kind of a cool deal. Well, <laughs> when, when I moved to Florida, I had to deal with another kind of household pest. You know, and this was a very different kind of animal. It was the palmetto bug. And the palmetto bug, if you don't know, is a, a species of cockroach that can grow to about two inches long. And when I first saw the palmetto bug, you know, I was kind of surprised the way it reacted. I mean, it just, you know, was running as fast as little legs would carry it. You know, and it, was, it was so big that I could actually see the fear in its body, you know, its body language. And I actually felt like a twinge of compassion. I feel like this bug really values its life, and I feel kind of bad about squashing it, you know. And not only that, but if I step on it, it's going to spill and make a big juicy mess that I'm going to have to clean up, you know. <laughs> I think I'd, I'd rather just prefer just to, you know, take a piece of paper and, you know, scoop it up and then flick it out the door, you know. I learned soon that that was really the very worst perspective you could have. You know, and it's very important that everyone here grasp the idea how important it is to kill palmetto bugs without mercy. Preach it, brother. It's, and there are three important reasons why. First one is, is that it's not going to live very much longer anyway. <laughs> palmetto bug lives for about for about a week, or, or I'm sorry, about a year. So you see that adult. Oh, my dog, you know, it's so energetic and healthy and full of life, but it's going to be dead in a few months. So whatever it has left on its bucket list, it probably isn't going to get to anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Kill it. <laughs> okay. And then, okay, the second reason is, is that there, it will invite its friends because it will just be so, you know, it will just leave its trail of odors. <laughs> Follow them. Okay. Well, anyway. You're gonna get desensitized to killing it anyway. Sooner or later, one it have to be sooner. The third reason is is that there really are easy ways to kill it. You know, if you're still squeamish you know, and still a little bit of compassionate, you can poison it really easily without really too much of your involvement. I mean, you got these roach traps you can put around your house, and you know the, the roach will just go to it and it'll eat a little bit of it, and then it will be poisoned and just walk away and die. And you haven't even it's out of sight, out of mind, you know. And then you know, but it's still kind of important to keep a can of rape around because you, know, you see you see you know some palmetto bugs engaging in some behavior you wouldn't want your kids to see. <laughs> um, you, know, you don't really want to rely 
on the traps because you know, so you might lay some eggs. So, yeah, you, so the best thing you do is to take the you know, counterade, just psh, you know, it's over, no eggs now. Not every love story can have a happily ever after ending. Sometimes it has to be tragic, that's just the way it is. So in short, I want you all to take home tonight how important it is to kill all mother bugs without mercy because they're not going to live very much longer anyway, because they're going to invite their friends if you don't, and third, they're rather easy ways to kill it. <laughs> Wow, wow.